Hello and good morning. Here we are again for a little chat. <clears throat> I was thinking that sometimes uh, past failures and past sins catch up on us, come to our remembrance and uh, we have our regrets and wish we could turn the clock back, but we can't. And uh, sometimes we're tempted to wonder, have we been forgiven? And uh, <clears throat> lose our assurance. And I just want to draw your attention to one or two verses that might be of a help. <clears throat> Romans chapter 8 is a particularly helpful uh, chapter concerning assurance. And in the opening verse... In chapter 8 and verse 1, <clears throat> it says, There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And we need to lay hold of that assurance, regardless of our feelings of guilt, etc., etc., concerning the past. Let's remind ourselves that Jesus offered that perfect sacrifice for our sins that we might be forgiven. And there's that assurance for all who trust in him that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And then <clears throat> sometimes we may be sort of confused or wonder about the things that are happening to us. Uh, it may be sickness, it may be some disappointment, it may be something that's happened that we just can't understand. And uh, we all go, I think, through that period, why is this happening to me? Well, again, in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, it says this, it says, All things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Notice that all things work together for good. So that's the, the pleasant and the unpleasant. All things working together for our good, fulfilling God's purposes. And I suppose if you think of a journey, take a journey in a car, for example, <clears throat> well, you're going to pass through all sorts of scenery. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to be on rough roads and good roads. Uh, <clears throat> there's going to be <clears throat> pleasant experiences and pleasant views. I know there's not so pleasant. You may be held up. All sorts of things can happen. But you're still going in the right direction. And you're going to reach the appointed uh, destination. Uh, regardless of what the circumstances are, you'll eventually get where you're, where you're going. And this is what the Bible says. All things do work together according to God's purpose. And uh, I often think of the, of a lovely embroidery. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, a lovely embroidery, a, a, very, a picture on, on the material. And yet, when you turn it over, it's all very confused. The threads seem to be all mixed up. And sometimes we look at life from, as it were, underneath the embroidery and God is looking at it from above and he sees the picture and the purpose of what is happening all things try to take that in on board all things work together for good <clears throat> to those who love God and seek to commit your day and your circumstances to him praying that his will be done. And then the other final thought is 
we're on our way home. I wonder, sometimes people wonder, are we really on our way to heaven? Are we going to be in heaven? And uh, there's a lovely verse, again at the end of chapter 8, where it says, where Paul says, I am persuaded that there is nothing, past, present or future, that can separate us from the love of God, which is ours in Christ Jesus our Lord. Isn't that a, a lovely verse? No separation because of that strong, eternal love of God, which has been made known to us in the Lord Jesus Christ. We sing the hymn, don't we? Love divine, all loves excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down. Yes, the manifestation of God's amazing love in the gift of his Son to be our Saviour. So there you are, read Romans chapter 8, no condemnation and uh, that there is no, uh, nothing out of God's uh, purposes. All that happens to us is allowed by God and no separation. Let's abide in that love. As the hymn writer said, oh love that will not let me go, I rest my weary soul in thee. Let's rest in that love. Let's return. Just a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the scriptures that have been preserved for us. And we thank you particularly for Romans chapter 8 and for the help and assurance that it can bring to us. Bless your word to our hearts and keep us abiding in your love this day and day by day. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, good to be with you and look forward to seeing you again, God willing, next week. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.